Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Things are getting a little bit better around here. Um, it was kind of rough for a few days. Um, those of you who have been following the channel since the beginning know who the old man is. Um, he got very, very sick over the weekend and we thought that maybe his time was coming near. And so it was a little emotional, a little crazy, um, but he went to the vet yesterday. And he is actually the picture of health for an 11-year-old tabby. So we're very blessed that he's going to be with us for a lot longer. Hopefully, you know, as long as nothing serious arises. But for an old man, he is still pretty good. Anyway, we're here now. We're going to throw down some cards. I have no idea who is next in that pile. I have no clue. So I guess we're going to find out. I'm not making decisions still. I'm just letting the cards do it. Virgo. A little bit of a glare. It's your turn. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it does not resonate, um, feel free to check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think that you may want something that might resonate a little bit better. Also, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, and our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here. So, without further ado, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 2020 see what's going on with Virgo. Eight of Cups. Ow. Moving on. Kind of painfully. No? Yeah. Tis the season, I guess. We just went through a full moon, so oftentimes with the full moon, as it is the end of a cycle and the beginning of another. Okay. Sometimes it be like that. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Two of Pentacles. It's a balanced connection. Maybe you feel like they always got their balls up in the air. They're balanced. They're good. They're stable. All right. What do you think of them? Judgment in the reverse. Hmm. I throw a clarifier on that. That's pretty open-ended. And I just got this weird sense of paranoia and I'm not sure why. We'll find out in a second. What do you want from them? Ace of Wands in the reverse. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Wow. Pardon me while I itch my eye. I'm not going to say anything until I get the clarifier on it because I don't want to screw this up. So, how do they feel about you? Six of Swords. They feel like you already left. What do they think of you? The world. We got endings and beginnings here, friends. What do they want from you? Lovers reversed. Oh boy. What's the challenge? Strength. That's a good challenge. Strength, it's, it's not only a card of trust and obviously a card of strength. 
it speaks of the differences in polarities in a relationship and how they work together. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that because I have a hard time seeing strength as an obstacle, so we'll figure that out in a minute. You may just be dealing with a Leo. I don't know. What can be done? Three of cups reversed. Oh, well, that says it all right there. I only got one three on the board so far. We'll see what else comes out in the other cards. Mm. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Gonna get some clarity in the cards on the table for Virgo for August 2020, please. I'm going to shuffle these this way to try to straighten them out a little bit. Oh, the lover's injustice. Maybe it means something. The lover's in the seven of swords. Maybe that means something. We'll see if they come back out. Hey now. Why is the two of pentacles here? Oh, the queen of cups flew out. Oh, okay. It doesn't usually mean emotional juggling in the upright. Perhaps they have, you feel like their emotions were balanced. Maybe you have a great deal of emotion for them or they bring you emotional balance. Okay. Why is judgment reversed here? Hi. The moon reversed. The king of pentacles reversed. On top of judgment reversed. Oh, what do you think of them? Things are coming to light, aren't they? The judgment calls perhaps being reversed. Perhaps they're not the person they presented themselves to be in the beginning. Maybe that's why we're at a moving on stage. Hmm, why is the Ace of Wands here in the reverse? Justice reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Well, I can tell you what you don't want to do. What you don't want. You don't want to get this started. You don't want to move forward with this. Because you see how imbalanced this actually is and how unfair it was. One more. Okay, I'll take two. Empress, Ten of Pentacles reversed. You wanted it. You saw the potential for it. You don't see where it is beneficial. The Empress could, al could also be indicative of a child being involved. Perhaps this person may have a child. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Super strange. Maybe you have a child with this person. I don't know. I'm just reading cards. I don't know your story. If it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, it don't. Mm. Take what makes sense, leave what does not. Mm. If it does not make sense for you, that part might not be your message. Okay. Why is the Six of Swords here? The world in the upright. 
how they feel about you. You've already moved on. You've closed this out. This is done and over with in their eyes. Moving on to the world for how they think. Why is the world here? Knight of Swords reversed. You have cut communication off. It's over. It's done. Nobody's talking. Blocked communication even. Ace of Cups. No love. The cup has done been spilt. Why is the lovers reversed here? It wanted to talk, but it didn't come out. Okay. Queen of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> the connection's there. It's just not as strongly felt by both parties. Queen of Pentacles reversed. One person could be a little bit clingy, a little bit needy. Ace of Wands reversed. And Karma. Or the Judgment card. Pops up in the upright. For what the other person wants. They don't want to get this started either. They acknowledge the connection is there. They are not doing anything about it. Judgment call made. Wow. Okay. Well... Sometimes it'd be like that. Do I need to continue? I think I do. Why is strength here for the obstacle in this connection? Sometimes it's just like that. Sometimes you're just better off calling it quits. Two of Cups reversed. One more. Two of Cups and the tower. The obstacle is it worked until it didn't. There was definite polarities in this relationship. It worked. You played off each other's strengths. Possibly you played off each other's weaknesses too. It was an amazing connection and it worked until it didn't work anymore. It worked until the storm came in, the winds of change, the earthquake, whatever brought the tower down. It is what it is. And it's unfortunate, but sometimes, you know, towers don't fall for no reason. And the tower isn't always a bad thing. Some towers are built to last and some are not is the way of life both on a literal and a spiritual plane five of swords reversed comes out everything scattered it all went to crap no hope picking those pieces up wow just standing in the rubble. Okay, why is the Three of Cups here reversed for what needs to be done? Hi! Seven of Pentacles reversed. Do not wait patiently. This is not going to grow. One more. Strength reversed.
if you do not just let this disconnect happen, this is going to drain you. Ten of Wands, release, release the burdens. If the connection, it, it, I'm sure it was beautiful and magical in the beginning. I wasn't there. I don't know what all went down. Sometimes it is best to part ways, release the burdens of it, and move on and walk away. Not so easy to do, specifically if you have a child together, which I do see a possibility of that here, but because kids connect you forever, they do. There is a way to be cordial when you have children together. I've been doing it for five years, so find your way, figure it out if that's your story. Okay, let's get some advice. Oh, Alchemist reversed in the Six of Cups. Somebody in this scenario might be, uh, Trying to pull the heartstrings card, the way back like Cadillac seats. Don't, don't do that. If you're the one trying to do that, don't. If you're the one putting up with that, don't put up with that. You can have beautiful memories together, and that's fine. Do not let people manipulate you because you've been friends for so long. Don't be a doormat. That's not okay. Please do not do that. Another set of advice. Ace of Swords, Five of Cups. It may be best to not communicate for a while until you're through the sadness stage. Because it's just going to be the constant regurgitation of talking about the three spilt cups. So until you're both ready to talk about the two cups, just keep your distance. Allow the process to happen. Again, unless you have a child together and you have to communicate. And if that's your situation, just be cordial. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. Uh, Eight of Wands reversed. The Fool in the reverse. Don't be so quick to move forward and don't be so quick to jump. Depending on what stage of the scenario you're in. Just look before you leak and yeah, look before you leave. One more. The shadow side in the reverse and the lovers in the upright. Yeah, this was a beautiful connection, but I'm sure that connection had a dark side. So until you can disconnect from the dark side of it, I don't see this coming back together if it's meant to. There's, you have to release the bad to embrace the good. This was just crazy, Virgo. I feel I feel for anyone who's going through this right now. I really do. Keep your head up. Hang in there. I apologize for being so scattered, but... Energies are energies. And it's just been one of those months for everybody. Trust me. I know. I, I'm a Virgo moon and a Virgo rising, and I'm feeling a little bit scattered right now. I think if I actually sit down and watch the playback of this and I really think about it, some of this might resonate with me. It's not off the top of my head, though. Thanks for stopping by. Love you to bits. Be blessed. And we will catch you guys for your next reading here in a couple weeks or so. And hopefully my energy level is back up in time for the weekend top and bottom since I missed the work week one on Monday. All right. 
Talk soon.